All right, so some fun stuff happened last week. I had this tweet explode and blow up my notifications all day last Thursday. And it's uh, one of those things that's very, very revealing. Um, now, I don't expect people who don't like me on Twitter to have seen even one, let alone all of my videos. Um, I think I have almost 600 at this point. But I've talked about critical race theory ad nauseum. I know that it's technically not taught under that specific title, but its framework and its illogical way of viewing things has certainly been injected in K-12 through schools all over the place. Having white children see themselves in a negative light because of their skin color or having non-Caucasian children look at themselves as unavoidably stuck in one lesser path in life is demented. Or to teach children to view all interactions between races as some form of power struggle. The curriculum might not have the words critical race theory at the top of it, but that's what it is, and that's where this nonsense comes from. Now, you want to teach the racist nonsense enshrined in law throughout U.S. history and how that still has measurable and continuing effects today? I'm all for it. And I know most leftists don't mind talking about the war on drugs, for example, being a culprit in this regard. Well, I'm all in on that. But the one thing I know they are uncomfortable with, though, is just as important, which is the war on poverty in which destabilizing behavior was directly subsidized and at best indirectly encouraged by the war on poverty. Had a kid with a guy? Make sure he doesn't move in. Make sure you don't get married. Make sure he's not even around and there's no real fit father figure there. And you'll get a check from Uncle Sam every month. You want to tell children that? That's great. But they don't have any interest in that, it seems. Um, because they're big fans of the war on poverty and just handing out money. They just really want to ignore the unintended negative consequences that come from that. But that's just it. Throughout the countless numbers of responses I got from this, there were a sizable number of low-grade, unimpressive ad hominem and basically made-up criticisms. Apparently, we don't want to teach about racism. Um, which, as I just mentioned, is completely untrue. I think teaching children about the true danger is very important, and there has not been anything more dangerous throughout human history than what governments have done. Slavery, Jim Crow, war on drugs, insane foreign policy, where you get a feeder program from the impoverished people you created from the war on poverty. Teach that to kids. I have no problem with it. And even teach them how th this was done along racial lines. Um, it's an important thing for them to know and understand. Um, and also, I think the other thing to mention, which was very revealing, is how few responses I got with any substance whatsoever. It's one of those things where we don't need a reminder, but it is nice to have one from time to time that these leftists really truly do not know what they're talking about, and they seem to be completely incapable of having a rational good faith discussion or debate. It's just baseless insults with no factual or logical information as to why I'm wrong or they're right. I'm open to hear from them. It's just they're never seemingly around. Um, it's just accusations of racism and then I never hear from them again. I mean, look at what you're, what's on your screen right here. Uh, this person above me said, so the folks who tried to prevent a black girl from going to school in 1957 are opposed to their grandchildren learning about how they tried to prevent a black girl from going to school in 1957. Um, I haven't heard or seen anyone uh, have a problem with teaching about uh, what happened in Alabama or Georgia. I, I've never seen it. I've never heard of anyone uh, complain about slavery being taught. In fact, one of my past videos, if you remember, if you watch my stuff, um, was about the guy who he was the left leaning guy on a Fox News show where he says there was this Iowa Bill 802 that directly prohibits the teaching of racism if this gets passed. And um, to the discredit of the people who were on that show with him, who disagreed with him, they admittedly said, you know what, we didn't read the bill, but I bet you anything it doesn't say that. And he said, yeah, just go read it. That's what it said. Well, if you remember, I made a video where I actually read that bill, and above where it says prohibit the teaching of slavery, racism, sexism, and the history of all these things, directly above it, it says specifically this bill shall not be misconstrued as doing any of the following, prohibiting the teaching of all those things. So not only were they wrong, the bill actually goes out of its way to say this is not what we are doing. And I haven't heard anyone argue that, oh, you should do that. Haven't heard it, but I hear the accusation from leftists all the time that that's what we're trying to do. It's ridiculous. It's old. It's boring. And there's a hard limit to the number of people you'll convince 
with that laser guided logic. Um, so for example, I lost count of the number of times I responded to people using the same old line that critical race theory is just some class you find in law school and nothing more. I listed off some names of academics and researchers who utilized critical race theory by name outside of law. I get no response. I tell them straight up. They would have been right in the 80s and 90s to say critical race theory was only a niche law um, grad school class, but since then it's been expanded greatly and has been applied to sports, leisure activity, modern day nomenclature, education, etc. So this line that it's only a niche law grad school class is just dead in the water. Um, but anyway, the severe lack of critical thought or rationality is very revealing. Um, I don't think these people realize it, but they seem to be displaying, perhaps unknowingly, the roots of postmodernism having an effect. It's anti-objective, anti-rationality, and it shows. Uh, but anyway, that's all for now. Like, subscribe, share this video. It's extremely appreciated. You take it easy.